Hello Hi everyone, everyone. It's, it's Maddie and Madison for Spectrum Art. And we are back, and we're back to actually share this really, really neat side-loading envelope book um, that we went ahead and created from scratch, including even the envelopes. And of course, we're going to share it with you guys and uh, show you and how we've done it. it too. Right, show you how we've done it, so you can hopefully go ahead and create your very own. Okay, so for this project, we're going to go ahead and need um, a few um, different elements that hopefully you'll have um, around your uh, crafty area. You're going to need uh, some light um, chipboard. Uh, if you do not have chipboard, you could use a very, very thick um, cereal box or, you know, a recycled box, but it does need to be uh, a really nice, you know, uh, thickness because you want this to be somewhat sturdy. You're going to need uh, some ribbon. You're going to need um, if you do not want to use ribbon here, you're going to need some kind of a closure. So again, that's dependent on you. Some heavy cardstock. You're going to need some images, which we're going to go over. Some decorative papers to go ahead and add on here. Uh, of course, some kind of adhesive glue tape runner. Uh, and then, of course, your envelope punch board. And this is the one from We Are Memory Keepers. And I know that there's plenty of videos out there on how to utilize this. Uh, if you have any questions though, however, feel free to ask down below. Uh, you're gonna need some eyelets for your tags, um, a watercolor pencil and brush, and um, most importantly, of course, a printer, a uh, computer, internet access, of course, but above all, some patience, right? Because you're going to go ahead and search for some images, hopefully online, if you do not have a pack. But definitely, you will need to do that um, in order to customize your um, cards. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have done. Again, let me put this to the side. I think we're all familiar with this. This is the 123 Punch Board by We Are Memory Keepers and it allows you to um, create envelopes. So again, if you have any questions, it, it does, it does. And it also comes with a bone folder. But again, if you have any questions, just ask below. All right, so here's what we have created. Um, let's go ahead and start actually from the outside. Uh, no, actually let's start from the inside so I, we can walk you through how we actually did it. So this is what the inside looks like. And you can see that it's got all these amazing envelopes. And actually, let's count them. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ours has ten. You can have one with as many as you like or as little as you like. Because again, this is custom made, so it's totally up to you. If you notice, we have given it plenty of room to grow. I mean, we can close it all the way down to this point right now. But of course, as the envelopes are um, filled and as you know coupons pictures receipts whatever is going to go in here love letters um go on here and get adorned and then as um, more images or whatever wants to be added on here pictures it's going to get chunkier so it's got tons of room to grow okay so the first thing that we did was we went ahead and picked out our images uh, and these are actually uh, a set that we had also made, so you might actually recognize them from the Mango Notes, which was a custom stationery set that we had actually made uh, for Mango the Cat. And uh, he is just gorgeous. Um, but uh, we had some leftovers, and believe it or not, uh huh. And then actually, believe it or not, we still have some more because, of course, when I print, I usually print extras because I don't want to. Um, you know, have to reprint them again, resize them and all that. And just in case that we boo-booed when we fussy cut them, which is a, you know, a way of saying just, you know, detail cut, because these are cut by hand. Um, I always print extra. So we had extra, so we thought, hmm, what to do? So Madison wanted to give it um, a world and try an envelope book. But instead of using envelopes um, that you buy from the store, we went ahead and made our own using the, um, the punch board. Could you use your very own envelopes, um, the regular, even plain white ones or any color? Of course you could, um, but we'll give you information on how we've done ours. So we picked up our images. We went ahead and printed those uh, using a laser printer uh, because you don't want inkjet. Inkjet will run. The colors, if they get wet, they will actually smudge. So we use heavy cardstock and we use an inkjet, um, I'm sorry, a laser jet printer. Uh, once we had our images, then we kind of looked at colors. And so based upon that is how we actually went ahead and picked out all these really, really pretty papers. So you'll need some coordinating 
um, you know, nice paper, decorative paper to go with. Or if you're gonna be using plain envelopes, you can always paint them, right? Um, you can use your gel press, you can just use oxides, jelly plate, you, jelly plate. Mm -hmm. you can do all kinds of other different ways of creating them uh, and making them nice and colorful, right? Mixed media kind of thing. Um, the next thing we did was we went ahead and once we had our envelopes and our images on there and we knew how we wanted it to go, we went ahead and created a spine. Um, now you'll notice it is an accordion spine. Um, and so what that means is basically it's a paper that has been made to look like an accordion uh, and then uh, put it into our actual book. Now, a couple of different ways, of course, you'll hear the uh, end. There are plenty of videos out there as well. If you aren't sure or you'd like to know, please feel free to ask below. Um, but um, you can decide how you want to go ahead and um, add you know the center now at the center we went ahead and actually used a piece of twine and i left it i mean i could just cut it off but i actually left the tail ends because i'm still not sure i think that we want to add maybe possibly some charms but it's going to depend really on whether it's this is going to be for um because it could be either for a man or a woman right i mean it's got um the colors that could be utilized by either any cat lover so we left this dangling with the question mark pinned on there thinking hmm are we going to go back and add some charms maybe a tassel or are we just going to go ahead and snip it off and just you know make it more masculine not sure yet so that's why that is there but we did use some um twine at the center to kind of keep those envelopes nice and stable in the accordion in the book um in addition to some fishing line as well but again you can use um you know oh my goodness upholstery thread you could uh, stitch them in you can use fishing line you can use twine you can use just about anything to keep that um signature in there once we had assembled all that of course we went ahead and picked our papers to cover our uh inside and outside covers as well as our spine and we've distressed them as you can tell we've gone around the edges and distress our paper and then we went ahead and created some pockets and inside those pockets, we went ahead and inserted these uh, really nice big um, tags that can be used for journaling. Uh, and they have been kept pretty plain to go with whatever the motif or, you know, the idea is going to be behind this book or this um, journal, whichever way the person wishes to utilize it, because they can even insert addition and in, um, pages in between. That's how much room there is on that spine. Okay, so and so this is what you'll need some ribbon and of course some eyelets for and some additional paper. But look at those paw prints. Are they adorable or what? And then of course we've got these little paw prints in here as well, right? Okay, now when we were done with all that, we looked at it and we said, you know what? Although the person can fill this, wouldn't it be nice to still include something in there? So we went ahead and once again went back uh, on the computer and created these amazing little note cards and they each have a quote a cat quote on the bottom or you know some kind of a thought and then each of them has a different silhouette so uh, we went through and made sure that we found 10 different silhouettes and quotes to go with each of these um, cards and they're quite awesome and quite funny you know like if cats could if cats could talk they wouldn't and cats have all have it all admiration endless sleep and company only when they want it so we went online and had a great deal of fun um, making these cards and these will of course go into these pockets um, you know they'll get loaded in there but I wanted to keep them out to show you guys how they all look um, before we actually put them in there. But let's go ahead and actually go through the images because I don't know if I showed you all these images before. Here's a little pilot kitty. Isn't he handsome with his aviator cap and his flight jacket? He's so handsome. Then we've got our cat news reporter <laughs> with his little raincoat. Then we've got our debonair gentleman with an umbrella. And his hat and look oh his pocket watch little gloves leather with little studs on there and look at this handsome boy with a big old bow look at those eyes 
Then we've got this other, you know, gentleman having his tea with a little birdie just sitting there. Look at him. Isn't he cute? He is cute, right? Look at those chubby cheeks and his little bow tie. Oh my gosh, and he's got a vest on. These are just too adorable. And then we've got our sailor kitty with his little pipe, his little cap. <laughs> I like that. That cheek is kind of lifted on one side. How cute is he? His striped shirt. And then we've got a smarty cat. <laughs> He's the intellectual of the family. How adorable is he? And then we've got our thinker. I like him. He's almost like a sailor, you know, with his little pipe too, but He's just sitting there thinking, hmm, pondering, maybe looking out into the ocean. <laughs> and our biker hip cat. He is ready to go out on the town. Look at him. He's all styling. I like how he's got, you know, <laughs> he's got some tabby on this side, but not on that. Isn't that a cute distinctive marking? And then, of course, we've got our um, hippie boho cool cat. Check him out. He's all spiritual with his war paint and, you know, his beautiful headband and feathers and beads. So they are just simply adorable and lots of fun. And of course, in our front, we've got our handsome, handsome guy, which Madison picked for the front because he actually looks like Lexington, which is um, one of our kitties. Not one of our kitties, our only kitty. But he looks just like Lexington. So... We hope that you have enjoyed it. We hope that you guys will try it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask below. Hopefully this walkthrough has given you some ideas and some inspiration to go ahead and try and make one of these um, in any theme that you'd like, right? If you have any questions, please feel free to ask below. And remember, everyone can craft. Reminding you once again that April is Autism Awareness Month. So please make sure you are uh, the difference, right? Be the difference in the world. Uh, show kindness and show compassion. Thank you so much, guys, Bye. for joining us. And blessings. Bye. Bye.